Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? Um, I was really tired um, when I got home today from shopping and loading everything. and Just again, a long day. Uh, just uh, trying to still recuperate a little bit from earlier very stressful things, which I won't get into right now. But uh, this is kind of a shopping video, and I'm going to try to go into a little bit more detail regarding uh, what stuff I got kind of last month and what's what was really smart in that area and what I'm getting right now and what's smarter in that area. That sort of thing, the whole train of thought with nutrition and everything. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to go down again what I've got here at PCC Natural Markets, my favorite grocery store more or less, as you guys know. So right off the bat, apple, Honeycrisp apples. They're not my favorite fruits but they do a really good job regarding just keeping me healthy. And I like the taste of honey crisps, and I think that it's great if you want to spend a little bit extra money on apples because the honey crisps to me taste so good they almost taste like cherries. They're, they're almost that good. Mm, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not that by much. If you if you eat a honey crisp apple, a nice crisp, um, fresh honey crisp apple it's gonna wow it's gonna it's really gonna put you in the right track i think <laughs> it's they are they are awesome apples and you know i i think they're worth it just just a powerhouse nutrition i have to got a few pomegranates also really nutritious kind of taking the place of berries now and that and then 250 per pomegranate's not a bad deal in my opinion um you see i spent a little bit of money in the apples but i got Several of them, really. Uh, so, yeah, they're a little bit pricier. Um, of course, celery. Uh, I didn't think that uh, celery would be quite that much. I thought celery would usually be a little cheaper, but whatever. I got uh, three organic yellow onions. Uh... And bananas are really cheap. Got a few of those. Um, so all really healthy stuff, you know, so far. Uh, and a variety of produce, a little bit. Getting, getting more into produce again. Grapefruit. So I got three of those bad boys. Uh, Texas red grapefruits. Uh, I got several pears, Bartlett pears. They're in that yellowy green skin. I mean, they're, they're looking like I need to eat them soon. Not too expensive, right? A little bit cheaper. Yeah, that celery looked a little pricey. I'm just seeing that now. I wonder if I was... Oh, you know what? There, I think it, that was the... Uh, maybe I'm kind of getting this mixed up here, in my opinion. I might have got that mixed up a little bit. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. Carrots, really cheap. All really, you know, kind of cheap cheap to the most expensive thing I got was the apples, but not too bad. Okay, getting into meat now. Got two lamb shanks. They're kind of like lamb legs. These are a little bit not so bad for the price of lamb. And I got some salmons. These are well, you know, this is about some of my sorry. A little bit more expensive stuff. Sometimes this goes out of focus here a little bit. And beef short ribs. Uh, about 11 bucks for one of them. Sorry, just trying to get it back into focus. There we go. Um, some bottom sirloin, tri tip beef steaks, some more short ribs. I'm gonna try to save the short ribs for being a family. We'll see. A bunch of chicken, a whole bunch of chicken, and then some curry chicken stuff. Well, these chicken, <clears throat> chicken that's cut into kind of curry pieces and stuff. Uh, getting into other stuff here. Frozen veggies. So offhand, they don't show it here, but I got uh, two things of broccoli, uh, two things of corn, one thing of Swiss chard, one thing of uh, green beans. I think so. Two broccolis, two corns, one green beans, one Swiss chard. And no spinach this time, or cauliflower. Okay, some eggs. And they're actually pasture-raised. A little bit cheaper price for pasture-raised eggs. 
this time. Uh, some apple juice. Get two jugs of those. So that's invest investing a bit in apple juice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, getting into that a little bit. A little bit of sea salt. Some limeade. That's I just love that stuff. It goes a little quicker sometimes. A little bit of grape juice. Not very much. Um, some tartar sauce. And then some of the um, rice noodles I've been eating. This Thai kitchen rice noodle stuff. I got several of those. So basically, um, spring onions. I think there's like a lot of those. And then a few lemongrass. Um, was it lemon chili lemongrass variety of Thai kitchen rice noodles? Kind of like soupy things. And then, of course, some candy for Halloween. A little bit for me, a little bit for everybody else. Kids and stuff. But mostly for uh, Halloween. And uh, these, I should mention, oh, I'm sorry, this is a little blurry. Um, the good ones, the good, the tasty stuff are these um, fruit chew things, fruity chews I got. They're the bottom ones. So below the candy corn and the chocolate Halloween bag. Those ones are really good. And some calcium supplements, but they also magnesium, vitamin D, and some other stuff like that. So I also had my 10% off today. So it only came to 281. Again, a lot of, I know it's sometimes considered a little bit much. But again, this is going to last me the rest of the month. Should be last me easily the rest of the month. And then into November. A lot of this stuff. So I was going to mention also, um, I have still a whole bunch of food from um, Trader Joe's. Uh, a while back, um, mainly, um, and also even um, another PCC natural market shopping trip last month. So, um, you know, the idea is perish perishable food. Eh, you want to, you know, get go through that stuff if you can. But this is why it's it's great to have um, fruits and vegetables. The vegetables being both fresh and frozen, but a lot of fr some fruit that you're going through. Make sure you go through the fruit. And then um, some nuts you can last a long time. Nuts and seeds from Trader Joe's, especially. And some meat and things. And you get, just, you know, it's great to be able to cover the bases pretty well. Uh, that, you know, so uh, anyway, I just coupon is a little bit big. But I wanted to mention that, that, that you know, the main, th main train of thought here, I, I thought it pretty well. Pretty well price wise. Um, I know what the expensive things were. They were basically. Um, that I got a lot of, by the way, I got a lot of chicken in this. There's a big bag of, you know, if you were to see the bag, it's just a lot of chicken in there. It's organic. Uh, the expensive stuff, of course, really was kind of more. Mm, beef and lamb are always middling to expensive, not a little bit more, but the really expensive stuff, really, I think was uh, probably. That. Uh, apples aren't too bad. Probably, I didn't really get anything super expensive this time. Not really. Um, well, it's, again, this is, that's a big, big of chicken, so. Um, but anyway, uh, so the, again, the train of thought I have here is, I'm going to kind of just trade there. Up here a little bit. So it goes something like this, and you guys know this already about me. I, I, I sometimes refer to the 100 healthiest foods for just making sure I'm covering bases pretty well with my health, nutrition, and what I'm just want to be able to uh, keep in mind regarding eating a really healthy, balanced diet without having too many, too much of a need for having supplements and things. But, um, you know, so I try to keep in mind, you know, what are my, you know, deficient, where might I be deficient before I go shopping, you know, what can I use, what nutrients can I emphasize more, what foods can I emphasize more to get more, more nutrients. And it's, you know, I, I mean, I try to make sure I'm getting nuts and seeds. Um, so I'm getting all these minerals and vitamin E and all this stuff. Like a lot of things, a lot of foods that are more fatty, like plant foods like avocado and olives and certain nuts and seeds have a lot of vitamin E, for instance. 
but also berries as well. And that's just, you know, I mean, so then, you know, all this, the colors, fried colors, and fruits and vegetables. I re- very recently have been getting more, I've been getting more starches. And uh, with my rice noodles and potatoes. And so I've noticed that um, I'm, I'm doing fine in terms of energy overall um, and health. But the star- starches tend to make me feel a little bit more blah. A little bit. It's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit more blah compared to a lot of fruits and vegetables, which kind of make you feel more... They do more for, I think, your mind. Um in a way, it's just, you just, starches have kind of a, a way about them that make you feel, you know, kind of more relaxed, I suppose, in a way. Maybe more calm and peaceful in a way, but fruits and vegetables give you more, I'm trying to think of what the word is here. They help you be more alert. I think I'll put it that way. They just put you, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, um, I guess, yeah, I just, I just, um, uh, I'm sorry, folks. It's just been a long day. I'm going to make this video not too long, but, um, yeah, I've been very busy. <laughs> I'll put that way. I've been very, very busy. It's hard to sometimes have the energy recently to just, you know, um, make meals on my own, make healthy meals. And stick with, you know, regular produce. And so I'm trying to get back into that again a little bit more. Um, and it was really bad, really hard. September, most of this, you know, all of early October, it was just a lot of things were very hard. And yeah, so um, that all being said, um, as you guys saw off my grocery list, and, you know, I still have... I wanted to mention that, you know, there's a lot of, there's certain foods you can buy that, again, they're going to be more, they're going to be less perishable. They're going to last you a longer time and they're going to be really nutritious and they're not going to be super expensive, not going to be super expensive. And so that's why, you know, I feel still so good about the Trader Joe PCC market combination because Trader Joe's, the, the two different stores balance each other very well, where one is weaker or, you know, has more expensive stuff. In this area, the other one is stronger. When we're, that one is weaker, the other one's stronger. So I wish I could combine it. I wish I could combine the two stores. But um, yeah, I mean, I trying to make sure I get everything I need, right? <sighs> but anyway, um, my my gut feeling, and also I've been drinking a lot of water, so that's good too. A lot of water. The worst thing in my diet, worst thing probably is um, mm, more recently maybe, um, I don't know. It's it's not the, I don't know if it's the amount of sugar, but it's, it's not really I don't know. I think it's actually doing pretty well overall. It's just that um, um, maybe I could I think I just need to be, I think, I don't know. I think overall I'm doing fine. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just trying to uh, be more coherent here. And just, again, it's been a long day. I'm really tired. I have two new piano students tomorrow. I have one student I teach, of course, at 10 in the morning. Then I have two more after that, brand new students. And then after that, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I think I don't think I have anything else. That should, that'll be nice, so... Anyway, just a kind of a grocery shopping update for you guys. Let you see, get you, let you guys see what I'm, what I'm eating. And uh, yeah, but more Asian food recently. A bit more rice. Uh, had some sushi recently. I'm trying to get all that good stuff. Salmon, your system. Salmon and crab. But sushi is expensive, so I, can, you know, I really have to watch that stuff a little bit. But it's so healthy. I mean, like. I just think it's it's hard to top Indian food and and sushi and I mean yeah I mean India and Eastern Asia just those cuisines are so awesome. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. I'm good at bye for now.